Hi everyone, it's Lisa from the OSCC 55 Plus. Um, I've just hopped on here to do a quick video about our upcoming registration day on Monday, August 19th. Um, I wanted to do a quick tutorial about how to register for courses online. I know we've had some trouble in the past uh, with that, but we have a new system. We're excited. We've done a lot of testing. It looks like everything's ready to go. So thought I would do a quick demo about how you can get registered for the great programs we have in store for you. So bear with me. I'm going to turn this around and we'll do it together. Hang on. Okay, so here we go. Here's our website. Everyone knows oscc.ca. And this is what our homepage looks like. So to go to online registration, you just go up here and click register now. And that takes you to this page um, where we have our registration information about membership. Um, and so you wanna click this link to online registration and that brings you up to IntelliWeb. So um, a couple things about um, the homepage here, the categories. Uh, for our courses are down and activities are down on the left hand side and they also correspond with the list here boop, boop, boop. Um, and to um, get started you need to log in so when you received your membership hopefully you gave us your email address um, and you're able to log on if you're not sure um, so you just click here to upline to update your online registration um, and you basically would type in the email address that you gave us when you registered, click send. If you wait about 15 minutes, you'll get an email back that says, um, prompts you to create your password and then you're all set to go. Um, if you're not sure if you gave us an email address, give us a call and um, we can look that up for you. Okay, so let's get started. You'll see the client login screen is here. You'll enter in your email address and password and log yourself in. Um, this is what it looks like when you're in and so you can see your current membership is there um, everyone expires december 31st and then if uh, from there you want to go to the home in the blue bar it brings you back to the IntelliWeb uh, main screen so from here um, the main word of advice for IntelliWeb is that you want to be searching when you have your book and you've got your codes um, you want to be searching in the right category. So I'm going to look for um, a belly dance course um, and it's in the dance section. So I want to make sure you see little dancers are at the top of this page. Oh, there they are. And so I'll go click on the dancers here under dance to look for my course. So um, best practice is uh, you can either search your book or write your codes down. I'm looking for the belly dance course. It's 14428. So you're going to scroll down to where it says course ID. And that's when you put in 14428. And then you click search. And yay, the details are there. So here we can see um, the details, it's on a Wednesday from 2.15 to 3.15 at the Conan branch. You can see our cost. There are 15 spaces in that course. If you then click details, you get further details about the course, your start date, your end date, um, pricing again. And from here, um, right now it says this course is currently outside the enrollment dates because we're not live for fall yet. On registration day, you'll have a, a book button here, or a register button actually. Um, and that's when you would register for your course um, and it would go into your basket, then you can proceed to, to check out and process online. So that's an example of a fall course. Let me take you through to a summer one so you can kind of see it in action because our summer um, courses are still active here. So let's go back home. Okay, so again, we're back home and let's look up that summer course. So there is a needle felting workshop um, that we're interested in. And so I'm going to go to workshops and seminars here on the left hand side. Or again, you can scroll down the middle with the icons. And I'm going to pull down again to course ID. And I'm going to put in my code 14204. there and then again click search. Here are the details for the needle felting workshop. Um, right now it's full but it is a summer program so you can see it's Friday 
Um, and as you can click into details, you can get more details about the course, the time, all that good stuff. It's Friday, August 23rd. So um, you can see um, it says, I will be attending to book the course. If there were space, this would say register or book. Right now it says waitlist. And so if you want to add yourself to a waitlist, that's the button that you would press. If the course had availability, you would click book and then it would take you to, uh, it would put the course in your basket and you could process and check out from there. Okay, so let's just talk about special events and fundraising events really briefly. So in our activity guide for the fall, you'll notice we have our special events section and certain programs have little stars beside them and other ones don't. So if the program has uh, a star beside it, it's a fundraiser. So those you'll find in the fundraising events section, which is here, or if you pull down, um, it's the one here. And the other events, just the ones without the stars, are in the special events section. So I'm interested in the New Year's Eve uh, dance because it's going to be a great time. And so let's go click and find that. So it's a fundraising event. Um, that's the section of the guide that are, has a star beside it. So I'll click there and then I jotted down the code. Again, under course ID, it's 14786. And when you search, there's our New Year's event. Again, you would click details, see more details. So yes, our New Year's event tickets are gonna be on sale as of Monday, August the 19th. We're really excited, it's gonna be a great time. Um, and again, as of registration day, you'll have a yes, I will attend and you'll be able to get your tickets that way. Just to note that as you're browsing through IntelliWeb, you'll be able to notice that you can also search a lot of different ways. Again, if you haven't got a book, you can certainly um, search by day of week, by type of activity. So if I'm gonna look into yoga, you can certainly go and look and see all the different yogas we have and uh, the times of day, the days of the week. Um, you can put in any of those criteria and then click search and the system will search for you. We just would say that the broader you can leave your search, the better off you are. So for example, um, let me see, if you want to just take plain yoga, you could click there and then click search. Not that yoga is plain, but you guys get the idea. And then here's our all straight yoga classes. There's some in for the summer still um, because we're still in summer session, but as you scroll down, you'll see our fall information there. So again, you can customize your search, um, but the broader base you can leave it, really the better off you are. All right, so that's been our tour. I hope you have all enjoyed it. If you have any questions, give us a call at the center. Our staff are here um, to help you. We're looking forward to Monday, um, August 19th. Get in there, get your programs, get registered. We've got a lot of great stuff for the fall. It's gonna be a great activity season. And we're looking forward to seeing you at the OSCC 55 plus. Thanks.